Hey, fourth grade art friends, it's Mrs. Herbe. Uh, we're going to get started on a new project this week, and we're going to be talking about lines. And we're going to be talking about what happens when we draw two lines that are parallel. And depending on if we draw them close together, then we end up getting sort of a, um, a thin line that looks more like uh, a, a sort of like a 3D uh, shoelace or we get something that looks a little bit thicker if we draw the parallel lines a little bit further away from one another. We're also going to look at and we're going to review some of some of the different type of lines we know like our castle line, um, our zigzag line, our wavy line. Um, and I'm also going to show you guys how when you draw um, these little curved, uh, curved shapes, when you create these, how it almost makes your um, your lines then again look more 3D, sort of like it's like a little pipe or a little lace that has um, beads on it. Um, so this is a finished example. Today uh, for part one, we are gonna be doing some, just the drawing phase. What um, you're gonna need is you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need the square piece of paper that I sent home with you um, in your take home bags that were that was from your teacher. Um, look for a white square piece of paper. This is what we're going to be drawing on to create our project. But I also want you to grab your sketchbooks and I want you to turn to a blank page in your sketchbook and all we're going to need is a pencil and an eraser. So let's get started. Hi right, guys, so what I want us to do first is turn to a blank page in your sketchbook and what we're going to do is we're going to just review some of the lines that we know. Um, and I'm going to draw them in um, on my piece of paper and you can draw them in your sketchbook. You can draw along with me. All right. And the first line that we know and love is our horizontal line. Okay. And when we draw that horizontal line to draw a line that is parallel to it, um, what we would do is we are going to choose a distance. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to try to maintain that same distance all the way across the width of that line. So now I have two parallel lines um, to one another. Okay. Um, we also know vertical lines. So I'm going to draw a vertical straight line. And then I'm also going to draw a line that is parallel, parallel next to it, the same distance up, um, from the first line that I drew. Okay. Now we're also going to talk about some other fancy lines that we know. For example, we know zigzag line. Okay. And so go ahead and draw a zigzag line. And then what we're going to do is we're also going to draw another line that is parallel to that zigzag line. It's a little bit trickier. I apologize, my dog Gabby is barking and I'm not sure why. Um, we can also do a zigzag line that is a little bit more close together. So you can get different looks with your zigzag line. And again, I'm going to practice in my sketchbook, then drawing another line that is parallel to the line that I just drew. Okay. Another line um, that we can draw is a curved line. Um, and it can be a gently curved line where it's just a little bit of curve to it. And then let's practice drawing. A line that is parallel to that curved line. Okay. And then we're also going to draw, um, if you guys remember, our old friend, the castle or teeth line. We're going to draw that line. And then same thing, I'm going to try to draw a parallel line to that line. And so I have to take my time and try to get the two lines the same distance apart. 
So when you're doing it, you probably want to just take your time and just relax and let your pencil flow. Um, instead of doing just a gently, gentle wavy line, you could also do a line that has more curves in it. And then I'm going to try drawing a line that's parallel with that. Okay. And um, so there's our different lines. Okay. Now, another thing that we're going to talk about today is I'm going to show you how what happens when two lines um, intersect. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by drawing just one line. So I'm going to draw a line and it's going to go up for a little bit, but then this line is going to go its own way. It's going to go off to the left. And then I'm going to draw another line that is parallel with it. But then when it reaches this point, this line, instead of staying parallel with that line, this line is going to go its own way. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is right at this point where they kind of um, curve away from one another, then I will draw another paraline, parallel line to that line. And then I'm going to draw another parallel line to that one. So now I have two lines that have come together and intersected with one another. Okay, and they've become one line. Um, the next thing I also want to talk to us about is overlapping. So when you create your artwork, what's going to happen is you're going to create um, lines that are parallel to one another, but then some lines are going to have to go under some lines will be over other lines and some lines will be under. So here's how that works. Um, so let's say this line is going to be coming here. Well, I have to pretend that it's going underneath this line. So I'm not going to draw anything. I'm just going to skip over that. And then I'm going to keep drawing. Okay. Oops. I come, I come to another line. So I'm going to just imagine that I drew over it and then I'm going to keep going. Same thing here. I'm going to imagine that I drew over it and then I'm going to keep going. I'm going to go over this way. Oh, I ran into another line. So I'm going to go over it and then keep going. And then I'm going to go back this way. Oh, I'm just going to pretend like I drew over it, but I didn't. And then skip over and out. Okay. So there's the first line. And then what I'm going to do is then I'm going to follow with the next line that is parallel to it, but I'm also going to imagine that I'm just, when I get to the next line, I just don't draw the part that goes underneath. Skip over. There. And now I've created a line that has, that is going underneath all of these other lines. Okay. So that's something that we're going to also um, use when we create our artwork. Another fun thing that I had talked to you guys about was um, showing, um, making the lines look like they have more dimension. And one of the things you can do um, is just by drawing a slightly curved line along each of your lines. And what that does is it gives the illusion that this is sort of a rounded, maybe it's a straw, maybe it's a pipe, maybe it's a shoelace, but it gives the illusion. It's almost like drawing a slight smile where your line just goes down and up. So I want you to practice doing that for a minute, just down one of your straight lines. Um, Another thing that we're going to be doing when we um, decorate our lines for um, our artwork is that we are also, we can add some patterns to our lines. So for example, maybe I want to fill this line with some circles. And that's kind of fun. Okay. Or maybe I want to 
fill it with lines. That's another option. Okay. Now the other fun thing is these little bead tape type shapes. And you're going to follow along the same way as you did with these little smiles. So you're going to draw, sort of you're going to start on the edge. You're going to draw that little smile or it's almost like a mini letter U. And then kind of on the edge where you started that, you're gonna curve out and around and back, all right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our eraser and we're gonna erase those two lines that we see there. So now it looks like this is a B that's sort of encircling that. I'm gonna try it one more time for you. So I'm gonna draw my curve right there so my little letter U then right where I started it I'm gonna go out and around and back and then I'm gonna take my eraser and erase that line there and now it looks like this is around it if you wanted to make it a little bit jazzier what you could do is you can make your U or your smile and then I'm going to come out, straight out, and then I'm going to sort of make some wavy lines. And then the same thing, I'm going to erase these lines. Okay. And now it looks like sort of a fun little bead. You could try other shapes too. You could draw draw your U and then maybe I want to try and draw a, a square right but this time when I draw a square a rectangle I'm gonna go a little bit above where the U is I'm gonna do a diagonal a diagonal a diagonal and then I'm gonna end up a little bit above where this U is so it looks like this shape is kind of enveloping this lace you could also try it with any other shapes that you want to. For example, I'll do a curve line and then maybe I want to imagine that I'm doing a heart. So I'm going to pretend that I, I'm starting here, but I'm it's behind. We can't see it. So I'm going to start my curve. Now I can see it. Now I'm going to draw my, then I'm going to go back and imagine that it's going to go down in there, but we can't see that part. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase the part that we can't see because this is covering it up. Okay. So take a few minutes in your sketchbook, have some fun, play around with making these fun little shapes, practice drawing lines that are parallel to one another, practice doing different kinds of lines that are parallel to each other. And then when you're ready, um, we will st I will show you how to um, we're going to grab your square piece of paper and then we'll get started with your project. All right, guys. So I want you to leave your sketchbook open because you can use this sort of as a reference. Um, but the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to decide we're going to draw our first line and you can decide what type of line, whether you want it to do be um, exactly straight whether you want it to be a little bit diagonal, whether you want it to be wavy and diagonal, it's totally up to you. Um, I don't want you to do exactly what I'm doing. I just want you to kind of watch at first. And then once you get the hang of it, then you can start and your design will look completely different than mine. Okay. But if you're not exactly sure how to start, I want you to kind of just watch this to get started. And if you want to try to follow along, if you're feeling unsure, you can certainly feel free. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start with sort of a broad sort of curved line that sort of starts here and ends there. Okay. And then the line that I draw parallel to it, I'm choosing to do it about this far away. And it's not something you can do in all in one shot. It's not something I can just go like that. In order to keep these lines um, the same distance apart, I have to really kind of take my time and just kind of look and see where I'm drawing. 
and I'm drawing a little bit. And then drawing the rest. Okay, so that's my first line. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide what's my next line. Is it going to go, um, is it going to start here and just go over to the side? Is it going to start here and go over to this side? Is it going to go over to that corner? Again, it's totally up to you and you're kind of the artist so you can decide. I think what I might do just for fun is I'm going to try a zigzag line and I'm going to kind of make it go over and then off the page right here. Okay. And then same thing, I'm going to draw another line that is parallel with it. If I wanted to, I can rotate my paper and I can start on this side if I wanted to. And I'm going to try to draw a parallel line that is fairly close to the other line. But as you know, parallel lines cannot touch. Just kind of come down, go up. Always feel free to move your paper into a comfortable position to draw. Um, I never just leave my paper like it's glued to the table. I always move it around. Okay. And then there is my second line. Okay. Then maybe now, since I'm over here, I'm going to try to draw a line um, that one line is going to go this way and another line is going to go this way. I'm going to try that. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to keep this line fairly straight and then, oh, I hit this line so I cannot draw over it. So I'm going to pretend like I did and then I'm going to keep going. And then, oh, I hit another line so I'm going to pop over that one. And I just cleared that one and there I reached the edge of my paper. Okay, so then I'm going to start another line that is parallel to that line. But once it starts to go, oops, got a little funny there. Once it starts to go the other way, I'm going to go, see you later, I'm going to go this way. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is kind of right where they left one another, I'm going to pick up and draw this parallel line. I have to skip over that. skip over and then go to the end and then I'm going to do that same thing I'm going to come down just a little bit further and then I'm going to do that same thing here okay now you're going to keep going um, until you get your paper fairly full of lines. Okay. Um, I'm going to pop out our, my finished example to kind of give you guys an idea. So you want about this many lines on your piece of paper. You want enough so that you don't have large areas of white, but you want to leave enough areas where we're going to have some negative space that we're going to be able to fill in with color. Okay. So, um, now you, now is your turn. You're going to get started and you're going to draw your creation of um, overlapping and parallel lines. And then um, after we get the lines drawn, I'll show you, um, we'll review putting the little fancy touches on at the end. Alright guys, so now I have a fair amount of lines on my paper and so what I'm going to do is now is I'm just going to finish up by drawing sort of some finishing fun things. Um, so what I'm going to do is I think on this line that goes along here like this, 
I want to put those little bead looking things. So I'm going to draw my curved line. I'm going to erase my lines and then I'm going to go up a little bit. Draw my smile, my U, and then curve around. And just erase that. Skip up a little bit. And then I'll keep going up there. Um, then I'm looking at, um, I'm going to look at my castle line. And I think I'm going to do it like this. So I'm going to do diagonal lines in the corner. Make this line straight. So that's an option. And then I think I might on this line over here put some circles. Okay, and um, I think I might try on this doing some of those really kind of fun do another one over here. And then maybe I'll put a couple over here. And then maybe one more up here. And I'll finish these up up here. Um, and then once you finish that, um, adding your sort of other, if you wanted to add a few other details, then for the last step today is if you want to grab a black Sharpie, and what we're going to do is we're going to carefully outline our pencil line. So all you're going to do is you're just going to carefully trace back over your pencil lines so that all of your lines are then in black. 
if you don't have a Sharpie, if you have a thin black marker, that will work fine too, okay? All right, guys, um, I hope you have fun with this. They're almost like magical or susical looking when you finish. And then uh, next week we'll talk about adding color. All right, guys, this is my finished work of art. Um, I hope you guys have fun creating yours. Um, when you outline with Sharpie, um, then you can always go back. Um, I did fill in some of my lines just to add a little bit of contrast between black and white. And I went ahead and added some curved lines to make some of my um, parallel lines look more like tubes or straws or shoelaces. I added these fun little things here and these things here. Um, and I decided to um, put dots on these parallel lines. And then I did just straight lines on those just to add a little bit more um, interest. Um, so I look forward to seeing what you guys are creating this week. And then next week we will have fun um, talking about color. So have a great week. And I hope to see you on Monday for our check-in.